What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and to share my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm doing your guys' favorite, a thrift video. I'm so excited because I'm going to do something fun this time. One of you guys suggested this honestly probably like six to eight months ago and it's been on my like meaning to film list and I just hadn't done it. And then Everett actually brought it back up and suggested it. And it is that Everett is going to do the voiceover. If you guys are new here, Everett is my husband. So Everett's really, really good at dealing with like all of my girliness, my wigs, my makeup, my hair, my shoes, my clothes. Like he knows that I'm all about it. And he's also really good about like participating in these kind of things with me. So he reminded me that we wanted to do the Everett does my voiceover while I go thrifting. So that's what we are going to do today. Definitely while I was filming this, um, there's things that I wish I could tell you guys about the item because I know Everett's gonna have like no idea what I wanted to say or like what I was thinking when styling it. So we'll see what he comes up with. He's usually a pretty silly person. If you guys do have a question though, just put it in the comments down below and I'll actually answer like whatever it was since I won't be the one talking to you guys. But first off, before we get into the thrifting, today's video is in collaboration with Dossier, one of my very favorite fragrance companies. You guys know I love them. I've worked with them for so long and I am always down to get some new Dossier fragrances. I'm always pleasantly surprised. And so I have two to show you guys today. One of them is new to me. So this is my January scent right here. If you guys are not familiar with Dossier, they are a fragrance company that makes high-end fragrances that are basically dupes of very famous fragrances. And they're always coming out with new fragrances too so if you have a very expensive high-end fragrance that you guys love and you're ready to repurchase but this time you want to try something at the same quality but a more affordable price tag dossier is amazing for that you guys like I have so many of the regular fragrances and then the dupe fragrances and I love both equally and what's really really cool is they're always coming out with new ones too I have their I think I'm like on their newsletter list or whatever so I always get emails about really good deals that are having and also whenever they're releasing a new scent or when a since that I wanted was back in stock. There have been a few that I've been waiting for that I want to try so bad, especially the Baccarat Rouge. That's such an expensive perfume. There's no way I'm going to buy the actual one, um, but I heard that the dupe is really, really good for the Baccarat Rouge. So I'm waiting for that one to come back in stock and I am definitely going to get it. So yeah, signing up for their emails if you guys are like perfume lovers. Here's the packaging right here. It's very simplistic, but very solid when it comes in the mail. I like that because I like as little waste as possible. So something that's small and compact but still gets the job done is preferable. This month I got Floral Rose. What's also really great is they always send you a small little sample size so that you can smell it in case you want to return it. Don't open the big one. Sniff this one. If it works out, great. Open it. If it doesn't, just send it right back very easy to return. I don't know if I mentioned this in the past too, is they are vegan and cruelty free, which some fragrances are not. So if you guys are vegan and cruelty free and you're trying to find perfumes, they're a great company for that. So here's my little cheat sheet. They always give you a little cheat sheet, which is really nice. So this one is inspiration for Le Labo Rose 31. I'm not usually a huge rose person, but I absolutely love my Lilabo Centel 33 dupe that they made. Oh my God, I love that smell. It's just such a unique smell. I've talked about it several times, so I won't go on and on about it. But I was really, really impressed with the smell of that one. So I wanted to try this floral rose. This one has notes of rose, cedarwood, musk, amber, and the concentration is 18%. One of you guys did end up asking me what the concentration of the perfume was. So yeah, 18%. Okay, let's spray it. <laughs> this one does smell rosy, but almost like um, a clean floral powderiness. Right in the beginning, I definitely smell the rose and then kind of once it settles, there is a little bit of depth. This is nice. This is definitely not a fragrance that I would normally go to. You guys know me. I like very like vanilla-y scents or very, very like masculine scents. So this isn't my normal choice, but I do think it's really nice, especially if you are into florals and rose smells. For me, this perfume is definitely very spring daytime smelling. And then the other one I was going to share with you guys is the Oriental Floral 3. This is one that I've had for quite a while now, and it is a dupe for Muggler. I never know how to say his name. I always am scared. Mugler, Mugler, Migler. I have no idea. Will you guys put it in the comments down below? Like, don't be mean to me. Just like, let me know how to say it. Cause Mugler, Mugler. 
uh, M Muggler, Mugler's Alien, which is right here. This is one of the perfumes that I have both of them and they smell so similar. I don't know why I'm weird. I like to spray like one spray of this one and one spray of this one and just like mix them together even though they pretty much smell essentially the same. I don't know why I do that, but I do and I keep them next to each other because I feel like they're just like little twins. Is there more? Just by looking at it in here too, like I feel like... I don't know how many ounces this one is. What I just realized is this one's only one fluid ounce and the Dossier fragrance is 1.7. So it's almost double the amount of fragrance and this one is way more affordable and they smell the same, you guys. Still a very high-end luxury perfume made in France, vegan, cruelty-free, high concentration of perfume oil. Like, I feel like it's just a no-brainer, you guys. A few of you guys ended up like messaging me on Instagram and also in my video telling me that you ended up ordering the Dossier perfumes and that you were like obsessed. So that just made me feel so good that you guys genuinely liked them as much as I do. All right, you guys, enough blabbing about Dossier. Let's rewind a few days to when I went thrift shopping. Q Everett for what he thinks I was thinking during this video. Wish him luck. <laughs> No luck needed from this guy. Welcome back to my wife's channel. Her name is Rochelle. This is her little corner of the internet. She wears masks and she likes to go thrifting. Check it out. If you didn't know, I cop this uh, velvet green jacket at a Goodwill, most likely. This is my Goodwill, it's brand new, it's in Grass Valley. Here I go, I'm walking in. This is a tree, those are my shoes, and those are my ripped jeans. This is a blue cart, I'm grabbing it, we're ready to go. Oh, snap, we're gonna start with the, oh, with the shorts. We're starting with the jean shorts. Look at all these jean shorts. I like those. Oh my God, is that, is, is that a cactus rose? That's a desert rose on those shorts. I probably bought these. I love it, I love it. Obviously, I love it. I'm looking at it for 10 minutes. Mm, those are a little funky. I kinda like them because they're funky, but I know that I'll never wear the 12 button shorts. The 12 button jean shorts, those are a no-go. Oh my God, obviously I'm attracted to this because I'm showing you in the video. Uh, look at this, this is epic. Um, I, wh where is this? I haven't seen this in my house. I don't think I bought this, but I should have bought this. This is like ultimate hippie wear. Um, Everett's best friend would love those. Damn, is that, a, is that a Lambo? Is that a Lambo? Damn, where is that thing, dude? Why didn't we get that? Hey, why didn't we get that Lambo? Oh, what? A skateboarding dog? Honestly, this is like the bombest haul I've never seen come into my house. Like, where are all these cool clothes? I don't know about this. This looks like a this looks like a summery shirt. It's cute. It's cute. Whatever. I know it's cute. Well, I'm walking through the store right now. It's a little weird because of COVID, but it's cool. Oh my god, this is cute. I swear. Where is this? Where's this where's this thing that you bought? Oh my god, look at those beads. These are amazing. I love the print. Uh, look at the frill. It's only $9.99. That's kind of steep for Goodwill, not going to lie, but it's cute. All right, back to back to skirts and shorts and dresses because it's winter, but I'm shopping for summer. This is a nice, cute tennis skirt thing. It's all black. It's all pleated. I like it. Obviously, I'm showing you for a few seconds. This, oh my god, look at the colors on that. I love it. You guys love it too because you're here to subscribe. Oh, look at it. That's amazing. Oh, it's all shimmery. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is like a cool over top. So I got the zib zigzags on there. You put that over like something. I don't know. You, you ladies know what to do with that. It's kind of shimmery and it's got sequins on there, but it's see through at the same time. So it's not going to keep you warm. Uh, this is a top. Yep, that was a top. Uh, this is also like this is like a, a a flowy dress thing, also see through. So please wear clothes underneath it. You're oh she wants to cut it. Oh she's gonna cut. Oh it's just gonna be oh it's just gonna be like one of those like uh bikini top things. Anyways, this is a long sweater vest with pockets. Uh, it's got uh, it's got some things going on with it. The color's all right. Ooh this is this is edgy. This is cool and edgy. This would go well with my Doc Martens. Everett hates my style with Doc Martens. I always tell you guys, but this, oh, I'm vibing with this because it's vibey. Oh, motorcycle brain on the back. American built. 2013 Reno Sparks. 
Oh, look at this. This looks warm and comfortable. I don't know why I didn't buy this for my husband. It looks very warm. Okay, we're over in the shoes. I don't know how we got here, but we, we're here now. Um, these these look high quality, but they're probably expensive because they're Goodwill. Those are also not too bad. Not much resell on these ones. But uh, high quality, those are cute. Somebody go pick those up. Um, yeah, these are a statement. Those muds, yeah, muds, familiar with those. Uh, those are all right. Those are pretty basic. I don't know why we're looking at those for so long. Uh, these are hippie sandals, um, for sure. Yeah, uh, you can trek the river with those. Oh, I, I swear, uh, my wife has like 10 pairs of these. I've seen hundreds of these in my house. 1650 Oh, my God. I'll sell you guys my wife's pair for like $3. It's all good. Hit me up. Oh, ripstick. What? What's the quality on this ripstick? Can you flip it over? Are you going to flip it over? Or you're just going to walk away. She walks away. I can't even see how good that ripstick was. Anyways, this is a, this is a cool uh, grandma donated uh, art. Oh, that is something that my wife would like to buy, but she didn't buy it. This is a curling wand. Yeah, I know that. It looks like a uh, really skinny barrel. It's not like a long one or a thick one. Oh, wow, we made the haul. We're back. And this is this is our dog. His name is Ziggy. He's a really good boy. He loves his mom. That's Tegan. Tegan's a really good girl, and she loves both of her parents equally. Um, Ziggy, oh, Goodwill haul. Here we go. You guys ready to check it out? Boom. Get rid of the bags. Recycle those, or however you can. These are two curling wands. Yeah, we bought them. Probably got them for like eight bucks. Who knows? Yeah, look at that. Look at look at shiny. It's cool. It's not the cleanest thing, but it works. She's going to curl her hair just like Zendaya right here. Hell yeah. She's going to get it. Anyways, moving on. So this is the second part of the Goodwill haul. So this is that pleated skirt. I showed it to you. I don't play tennis, but I like it. It was $4.99. I got it. It's a size 6. Hana Sport. California, that's what it said. So, um, oh, yeah, we're going to mix that with a Pepperdine University t-shirt, swag, stolen valor because she didn't go to Pepperdine, but it looks cute, especially matched with this fuzzy purse that looks hella itchy. Anyways, oh my gosh, mix it with the high socks and the Doc Martens. Damn. Yeah, this is style. This is swag. You guys, let me know in the comments if you like this fit. Anyways, moving on to the next one boom oh no nope, we're not moving on we're still showing you the pepperdine university here it is oh wow we're gonna mix it with some argyle college vest swag whoo this is upscale this is taking turns this is a mervyn's brand from the men's collection vintage argyle totally in right now especially with the college swag boom on to the next one yes Yes, look at it as a full fit. We took the Pepperdine off. We put a collared t-shirt on. We're keeping the boots and the high socks. But look at this. This is a fit. This is a statement. I love it. And if you guys love it, leave the laughing, crying face in the comments below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this out to a not as itchy purse. This purse also works. The itchy one is cool, but it mostly fits this itchy looking jacket that I'm going to show you next with this. So check this out. I made this, I did some things, I got this bongo fluffy sweater, I told Everett one night, I left it at the thrift store and I had to get it, then I got these crazy cool pins off of Amazon, I'm sure you've heard of that website, look at me, I'm making clothes now, this is next level, yes, so we're gonna match this with the pleated skirt, here's some inspiration, I took it to a way itchier level, so anyways, here we go. We're going to check it out. Boom. White jeans with this itchy sweater. It looks real cool. And yeah, I'm flossing. I've got it. You put a lot of jewelry on this, a lot of gold. It's a real statement piece. It comes with the pug. Anybody wants the pug in the video, comment down below. Check it out. I've got this mixed in. It's a lot of bling on there. We can also throw this fit on there that I thrifted. This was the sequins. Definitely going to want to, uh, the only nine, only nine. Yeah, we're going to want to throw this on with the white jeans, of course. Definitely something underneath because it is see-through. So we've got this little white uh, shirt underneath to match the white jeans below. Yeah, we're doing it. Pug's still for sale in the background. 
jewelry for this one because you know it's black and you want to put a lot of jewelry on here here's another summer piece that i picked up we're gonna match this with the white jeans i can oh we're not matching with the white jeans we're throwing it up to some regular jeans look at that how cute kind of basic but cute yeah here we go so this one for sure summer top again too cold right now to wear this this is energy energy it's not how you spell energy so i'm gonna call you energy yes this is a cute like sideways cut off it ties right over my tattoo so my tattoo looks like it has hair now we tie it on the side down below we've got a lot of control over this because we can tie it in multiple places it looks cute my shoulders look good in this there i am hello so yep there's my wife she's showing this off keeping with the blue jeans dancing around so now we are all out of things we bought at goodwill sad i'm gonna have to go again but we love you thanks for subscribing to her channel we'll see you guys later and if you want me to never do a voiceover again comment down below goodbye she thinks that i'm giving a long goodbye and i am